Aquarius Platinum has agreed to sell its Everest mine to Northern Platinum for 450 million rand. Visiting our Cape Town studio to explain more about the deal is Northern Chief Executive Paul Dunn. Mr. Dunn, good to have you with us today. This acquisition has certainly been in the pipeline for quite some time, but maybe if you can explain to us the kind of value that this will unlock and add to your current operations. Yeah, uh, goo goo, uh, good afternoon. We believe the acquisition of the Everest South Mine uh, is essentially the purchase of the gateway into our ore body known as Boysendal South uh, and, in fact, Boysendal Central. In that ore body, there are a total of 60 million PGM ounces, and the Everest Mine and the asset on that mine. Uh, will allow us to access those ounces during the course of the next four to five years. Maybe if you can explain that kind of potential, because many people do say that uh, there's a lot of uh, unearthed uh, resources still below the uh, sub-Saharan African soil. Uh, so the opportunities certainly look good in the long term, do they? Yes, we would agree. Uh, the, uh, the mine, uh, the milling capacity at Everest has the potential to deliver 250,000 ounces per annum. And if you consider there are 60 million ounces in the ground there, it is a very long life mine, uh, potentially, market conditions permitting. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some conditions into this transaction. Maybe if you could highlight a few of them for us. Yeah, there are three conditions present. Uh, they're reasonably straightforward. We need uh, competition commission approval, firstly. We also need to sign a lease with the community, uh, between Northern and the community, as opposed to Aquarius and the community, which is the current lease. And then finally, we need Section 11 approval from government for the transfer of the mining rights from Aquarius to Northern. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we can get an update on your current operations. One knows that Zonder Ainda is one particular mine that has been under significant pressure due to the union rivalry there. Has that returned to normality? And are there any lessons that you've picked up in the union discussions there that you are implementing at some of your other operations? Yeah, I think uh, Zonder Ainda is a, a reasonably high uh, labor intensive operation. And there is a degree of union r rivalry that has surfaced at Zonder Ainda. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, the work stoppage that took place there was resolved within a, a reasonably short period of time. Uh, the workforce did return to work within, within the week. Uh, we have implemented a third party facilitated process to address the specific issues that have been raised by the uh, workforce uh, leadership. I brought up the labor issues because it's uh, often been a theme in the last few years of the mining in Daba, at which you're currently attending in Cape Town. Uh, are we seeing any uh, positive news stories with regard to that relationship between business, labor, and government at this year's mining in Daba? I would describe it as a work in progress, uh, Gugu. Over the, over the last three years, uh, the industry, in particular platinum, has experienced a lot of difficulty. difficulty. And the, the, uh, the, the, the three partners in the business, government, business, and the union, are working through these issues slowly but surely. We are making progress. How far are we from making that kind of progress? What needs to be done? I think ongoing dialogue and uh, genuine leadership is what is required. And a softening of attitudes, perhaps, uh, all around. Your thoughts then on the minister, Minister Ramaklodi, uh, making mention of a government mining company uh, at the briefing this morning. Uh, your analysis and your reception to this news, uh, is there any positivity one can read in this? Yeah, I think there's a place for, uh, for that type of company. Um, and I think there's also space for companies like Northern uh, to operate successfully within the South African context. It sounds as though you're slightly hesitant there. What, what might not make this uh, a good idea for the South African economy, despite there, as you say, being a place for it? No, I think uh, it's a genuine answer. I think there is a, a place for such a company. I think the minister has a point. Well, thank you so much for your time.